Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. And today, a pencil review. We're going to take a look at the Mitsubishi 9800 EW. And so, the many of you might be familiar with the Mitsubishi 9800. This is the EW edition, uh, which it is important to note that it is recycled pencils, as they call it. Uh, so this is sort of their, their natural line, uh, and we'll, we'll take a closer look at the pencils themselves. But right now, I want to sort of explore this beautiful box that they come in. So of course we have the Mitsubishi logo, Mitsubishi, these are HB. Uh, so a number two pencil, matured micro graphite lead is what it says here. Uh, turning it over on the side, recycled pencils, Mitsubishi Pencil Company Limited. Uh, then on the back, well, I can't can't tell you much what's on here because it's almost all in Japanese. Uh, so uh, perhaps this says a lot of what's on the front. I don't know. I, you, we see it's 9800 here, EW. And on this other side, we have recycled pencils. And I'm not sure. I'm going to guess that says the Mitsubishi Pencil Company limited as it did in on the other, reverse side. Here is the bottom of the box or the one side flap 9800 EWHB same thing on that side. So there's the box that it comes in. Now if I can open it let's take out a pencil and take a closer look at this so, let me focus. Thank you. Okay. Um, we'll start with the shape. Hexagonal. Right there. There you go. Uh, you know, softer, rounded corners, but definitely a traditional hex. Um, let's get to what it says. And... So you have a natural finished pencil, and this does, there's no lacquer on here, there's no clear coat varnish of any kind. It is just a natural wood, established 1887. Then there's a star or an asterisk, matured Mitsubishi 9800 EWHB. That's it. Then here, on this side, it says General Writing. Again, HB, General Writing. And then here, perhaps that says General Writing in Japanese. I don't know. Maybe someone could tell me. And then HB again, and here is our UPC code and uh, item number. So that is the pencil right there. The Mitsubishi 9800 EW. And uh, gee, there's so many uh, natural pencils. Uh, there's a Blackwing Natural. Uh, now, the, of course, Forest Choice. Um, uh, we've seen uh, the Tennessee Red, with, you know, th there's just a lot of natural pencils. This has been on the market for a while. It's not a new pencil by any means. And uh, we've used Mitsubishi pencils before with, with uh, much delight, actually. So I'm looking forward to sharpening and trying this one out. I've sharpened this one up and uh, we are sharpened very nicely and we're going to 
take a look here. Had a slight little crack hitting the paper for the first time. Mm. Ooh. Okay, smooth. Ultra smooth, buttery, silky, dark, glides. This is a low effort pencil. Uh, we'll see about. I'm gonna. I'm gonna need to sharpen this up again here in a moment. But the line as we might expect is a little bit darker, a little bit softer than say in, in an American or a, Germ a European HB. This tends to be the case with Japanese pencils but as also the case with Japanese pencils, this is a delightful instrument to write with. Let's try that bottom. Yeah. We have a little bit of a smudge drag, not a surprise. Let's see how this darker core does in terms of lifting off the paper with some block erasers. Obviously, no attached eraser here. The Mars plastic does a pretty good job. The high polymer Pantel does a very good job. Pink Pearl, pretty good. Uh, Milan, pretty good. Uh, we'll try an art gum eraser. Oh, uh, my eraser's cracking in half. The gummy racers will do that, unfortunately. Um, let's try a mini softy. Okay, what else do I got? How about a Nadirage? something in a natural rubber, a heart mouth here. Okay, I think if we look across, there's some shadowing on some of the erasers. Uh, it looks like the Pentel probably did the best job in terms of lifting it off, but overall, for a pencil that is darker, 
and softer. It, you know what? It's a pretty decent erasable pencil. I'll give it a BB plus. Now, let me, let me sharpen this up again. I feel like the point has dulled enough. Okay. We're back in business. that. Yeah, this is a pencil that you want to have in your hand for long haul writing. It is a comfortable pencil to hold. Uh, and you know, for a long time I didn't really warm up to a lot of the natural pencils. But I have come to really like them. And in particular, because there's no varnish or um, anything uh, on the uh, shellac or anything on the, on the pencil and it's just the raw wood, you know, the wood absorbs the oil uh, from our skin. And the longer you hold it and the more you handle it, the more the finish, the color, uh, changes. And, and in a fairly short amount of time, you do sort of get a little, patina might not be the right word, but, but there, you, you get a, a little coloration from just your hand uh, working the instrument. And uh, I kind of like that. I think that it makes you feel more connected, you know, uh, uh, to, to the pencil. A pencil that's painted uh, is can be very beautiful, uh, especially some pencils that really have beautiful paint jobs on them. But of course, the paint protects the wood, uh, so uh, y your human interaction with the instrument doesn't show on the instrument itself other than, you know, the pencil getting shorter and shorter because you're using it or perhaps using the eraser. But yeah, there's something about the natural pencils that that I've come to like that I didn't feel that way, particularly when I started using them.
Yeah. This is a really lovely pencil, really nice. Very much enjoy using it. Sharpens well, comfortable, no eraser, but you know what, that's okay. We've got lots of good erasers. It does erase very well for uh, the overall softness and darkness of the line that it puts on the page. Uh, so, if you like a natural pencil, uh, as opposed to one that's painted, if this appeals to you, <clears throat> you will like this pencil because it's got all the features of, um, you know, a good unfinished, raw, natural pencil. And it uh, has that wonderful, Japanese Mitsubishi core. Very nice writing pencil. So thank you for spending some time with me uh, and I appreciate it. If you like what I do, please like, share, subscribe. And I'm going to look forward to seeing you again real soon right here on Always Analog.